Hello everybody and welcome to Grassroots Vegan. I'm David Kelly. So I was a little bit surprised tonight when I was watching the news to uh, hear that um, the Hippocrates Health Institute is being sued. Uh, let me read the article. Um, I popped it up here on the internet and I will leave a link below. There's a video clip that goes along with it. You should check into it. It's interesting stuff. I don't know. There's more to this story yet, but here, just let me get, give you the, the uh, basically the gist of the story. A Florida health spa popular with many Canadians battling cancer and other serious illnesses is being sued by former staff who allege the company's president is operating a scam under Florida law and practicing medicine without a license. Ryan Clement runs the Hippocrates Health Institute in West Palm Beach, where the families of two young First Nation girls from Ontario recently spent tens of thousands of dollars in treatments for their daughter's leukemia. He and his wife, Anna Maria, a, a co-director of the Institute, are named in at least three separate lawsuits filed recently in Palm Beach County. Two are by ex-employees who claim HHI violated Florida's Whistleblower Act when it fired them, and another is by a physician alleging breach of contract after he documented concerns that what he was being asked to do at HHI could be illegal. So, um, you know, what's unfortunate here, like, I, I don't have an opinion either way on, you know, the... Hippocrates Health Institute and their practices. I know they're, they do, well, here has, um, they do things like cold laser therapy, IV supplements, massages, raw foods consisting largely of sprouts and wheatgrass. So it's taking a alternative approach to treating cancer and I guess other uh, terminal diseases as well. And um, I guess the, the, the philosophy behind it is that your body, given the right conditions, will heal itself. And, you know, I'm telling you, you I, I feel for people who are battling a terminal illness because they're the vulnerable ones here. I don't know if Hippocrates Health Institute is a scam or not. Um, I, I know whatever the media presents, you've got to take it with a grain of salt. But when you're seriously ill and you're looking for treatment and you're looking for an alternative from conventional treatment, like with cancer, having to go through chemo and radiation therapy, or you may have already done it without any success, you'll do anything. You'll, you will gravitate towards anything that shows a glimmer of hope and you will pay any amount of money and this is where um, it's unfortunate because you're not going to spend the time to do the research you may not have the luxury of, of spending the time to do the research to find out which place is really reputable and legitimate and um, I, I just feel for people in, in that situation like you know, if someone told you that to drink your own urine and that will cure you, you would do it without any question. And um, so it's unfortunate that, you know, when people, the people that really need the help, they're the ones that, that are the most vulnerable and seem to be the least protected in these scenarios. So I highly encourage you to go to this link, watch the video, uh, the interview that um, CBC did with Brian Clement. Pretty interesting stuff. And especially his reaction, um, I, I found to be somewhat curious. But again, I'm not, I'm not placing a, an opinion here either way. I don't know what the, what the real story is here. It's just, you know, I guess the old saying goes, buyer beware. Take care.